Hey y'all, it's your girl Latanya from Latanya Roche Healing Hands. I don't own the rights to none of that, what you just heard, but um, I come to you today saying hello. I hope that everybody is in an amazing um, mood today. I hope that everybody's being productive. I hope that everybody's enjoying their Saturday. Um, I just wanted to stop by to do a little recovery therapy today um, and talk about um, wave riding, urge surfing, um therapy as a tool if you will um this technique it can be used to stop or reduce drug and alcohol use emotional reactions um such as blowing up when angry um gambling and other unwanted behavior okay um it consists of being triggered um, the, a trigger is a person, place, it's a thought, a feeling, or something else. Um, that's the first point. That's when it begins. The next thing that happens in that moment is rising. Um, the urge becomes more intense. Um, this may happen gradually or very suddenly. Um, then is when the peak comes, the point of escalation. Um, this is when the urge reaches, excuse me, its most intense point. It may feel as if the urge will never go away, but this too shall pass. And the next point, the final part of it, the, the fourth phase, if you will, is fall, which means to dissipate. And the meaning of dissipate is to disappear or to cause to disappear. And here it says the urge loses its intensity and eventually fades away, right? So urge surfing or urge surging therapy and um, wave riding for me. That's my reference for wave riding. Um, is when something actually happens, a trigger, meaning a person could say something to trigger you. Um, you could hear a loud sound that might trigger you. Um, you can see someone that might trigger you. Um, you can see something that might trigger you. You can see a color that may trigger you. And all of these triggers are in reference to um, points of where something happened, where where you can touch that with something and it creates a negative um, impact, a negative thought, a negative perception, a negative feeling, a negative emotion, a negative reaction if you choose to um, not utilize this urge surfing technique. Um, what happens is you get that trigger by way of whatever it may be a color or it may be a sound um, that may push you back into a place that creates you a reaction within you but this therapy this approach is what's going to teach you how to actually bring it back be aware be alert of yourself take account of what's really going on let me slow it down let me see what's real let me see what it is that is creating this I know I may be feeling this way in this moment my heart may be pounding I may be thinking that I can't breathe but stop wait think acknowledge yourself I'm still here take in a couple of deep breaths I'm still here focus this is going to create a response opposed to a reaction. So be kind to yourself in those moments. When you get, when you reach that trigger, be kind to yourself, be patient with yourself, be aware and be compassionate towards yourself. Because what will happen is as you go into those different phases, phase one again would be the triggering phase the onset of a thing whereas that something somebody said something to you that created a trigger in you like a huh kind of situation and then continue to perpetuate it you know and then it starts to rise it starts to elevate and then 
it it really gets to that point where you know what I'm saying. You thinking, hey, let me just, you know what I'm saying. Let me go and just get with you. You know what I'm saying. Let me react opposed to responding. But this is why we are continuing to remain aware, alert, awake with self to be accountable for ourselves as we walk through these different moments and be awake and pay attention to the way that things are going, the type of conversations that are being had amongst those who we are around, the different kind of positions it is that are around us and how we need to respond to those different things, being accountable for yourself in life situations. <clears throat> It, it can trigger some things, but you have to be patient with yourself and you have to be kind enough to yourself to actually be patient to give yourself time to move through this urge to wait and just acknowledge yourself and breathe and say, okay, let me think about what is going on, what's around me, I'm here, this is happening. Let me just, you know what I'm saying, gain my composure and acknowledge that this is elevating, it's rising. And now it's getting to a point to where it's escalating, you know. And, you know, when you was on, on that call center team, you know, once that call gets to the point to where it's escalating, then you know you need to send it over to the escalations department. You got to transfer that call over. You know what I'm saying? Because you wasn't equipped to handle that. But this is going to be a tool for you to add to your toolbox so you'll know how to um, handle those situations, how to react, um, how to respond opposed to reacting. Okay? You escalate the call. But in this, you're going to sit and acknowledge yourself and what's going on and know that it's going to reach a peak, but I'm going to keep on breathing through this thing. I'm not going to let this thing stop me. I'm going to keep breathing. And then I'm going to choose to um, respond opposed to react. And when I do that is when it's going to um, go from that peak, which was phase three to phase four and start to fall, dissipate. And the word dissipate, the meaning for that word is to disappear or to cause to disappear okay and once it disappears that means that it falls away and I'll give you scripture Exodus 14 and 13 it says matter of fact it says stand still firm confident and undismayed still firm confident undismayed phase one which is the trigger phase two which is the rise phase three which is the um peak phase four which is the fall okay he says stand still firm, confident, and undismayed. And the enemies that you see today, you shall see them no more because they're going to fall away. They're going to dissipate. They are going to disappear where you will see them no more. They will no longer be a hindrance where you won't be capable of moving through. You just used to, you know what I'm saying, reacting. You know what I'm saying? Because the easiest thing to do is to react opposed to respond because, you know, everybody can get with it and say, okay, well, I'm just, you popping out. Well, I'm about to pop off too. I don't got to hold back. You know what I'm saying? But being mature, we choose to respond opposed to react. Because he said... For phase one, which is the trigger, he says, stand still. For phase two, which is the ride, he said, firm, stand firm. For phase three, which is the peak, he said, confident. And for phase four, which is the fall, he said, undismayed. And the enemies that you see today, 
you shall see them no more forever, which means that they will dissipate, disappear, fade away, fall away, be no more. So if you work these steps, meaning exercise these steps, just as you do your faith, you will see that you are gaining control over that thing that once held you back and made you um, th think that you needed to um, react opposed to respond. But you have the capacity because Latanya from Latanya Roche Healing Hands has extended, reach forth what's in her hand, which is a tool to help you by way of putting it in your toolbox and showing you, taking the time to explain to you how to actually utilize these tools by way of the world, the outer, and the inner by way of what he said. And the inner overrides the outer. I told you before, he said that, Latanya, these um, cords are being expanded. The inner is going into the outer is what he said. The inner is now going to be, um, the outer is now going to be a part of the inner, is what he said. So you have to learn how to function. The, the, there's an enlargement and expansion of your mind, your train of thought, your mindset, your way of thinking, allowing you the capacity to expand beyond what it is that you are used to. And become dexterous as you practice these things in your mind, these different techniques that will not only alleviate the symptoms of pain that you have, and we have on a day to day basis emotionally, but will also teach us how to move fluidly throughout living and walking by faith. Because faith without works is dead yet being alone. And what do you need to do work? You're going to need the adequate, effective tools to be capable of moving through. You have the capacity. And this is how you keep calm. Because it is happening. Amen. So it's me, your girl, Latanya. From Latanya Roche Healing Hands. Signing off.